But there we go. It's advantage by Munich after the first leg in Munich. Satisfaction for Alexander Strauss and his side. But Stenius, the morning, can't quite find the purchase as Gross recovers. But Arsenal looking ever more dangerous. But Stenius squeezing the ball across. She's so good on the turn, just finding that space. Can't find the space here. Yes, she can. Goes for the curler off the post. Now she's been one of their best players on the night, Caitlin Ford. Just found that yard of space. Curled it past the dive of Marla Gross. But not past the woodwork. The black shirts crowd in the penalty area once more, and Schuller was one of them. And Schuller's header gives Bayern the lead. Their top scorers at it once again. Well, they get their reward for committing the bodies forward. It's a towering leap from Leah Schuller. And Zinsberger on the stretch, can't reach it. 14th goal of the season for Schuller. Got some there on the turn. And... Tried to take the shot, but it was comfortable though for the Chelsea goalkeeper. Yeah, a little bit too easy to get a shot on goal here. Carpenter was able to get hold of it. A little bit of a wrestling match though between her and Cuthbert and it's Cuthbert who comes away with it for Chelsea. Plays it across the Guru right turn. Great finish. And Chelsea take the lead at Lyon. With Carpenter did really well. That is a great little touch. She knew where Guru right was and she had to take it with the right foot. And what a finish that is. With a less strong foot. All set up for that little curl around the corner. What a finish. And they've had to withstand a little bit of pressure, Chelsea, in the opening of this game. But they have got the players that when you get the ball in those areas, that they can score goals. A fantastic finish from right. And they don't really need to be playing in those sort of areas and just giving encouragement to Leon that they can get back in this game. Not Leon, Leon where they want them at the moment. But if you give the ball in the, away in those areas and they're right on top of your goal, and now Wolfer. Kiharo finds Pariuelo. Pariuelo! Decent strike punched away by the Roma keeper. A little disguised pass to Pariuelo. Goes for power and then really could just make the right option with the header back, but probably more or less straight at the goalkeeper. Kiharo into Pariuelo! Brilliant goal! The young 19-year-old finds the breakthrough for Barcelona. Are you well up? And that finish, unbelievable. First touch was brilliant, second touch even better. Well, that will be that. It's Barcelona who go into the second leg with the advantage. And the second leg will be played at Camp Nou. One massive kick of a football coming up here. Janssen against Buhadi. Janssen scores! Wolfsburg have the lead. The She-Wolves bite in Paris. The arm is raised from De Almeida, but it's headed at her from point-blank range by Oberdorf. Good composure from the spot by Dominic Janssen, former Arsenal defender. Scores from the spot. Her first goal in the Champions League this season, her second across all competitions. Corner can finally come in. Wolfsburg's first corner of the second half. And it comes towards Oberdorf. Dale Maida got the block. Wolfsburg is saying there was a handball in there. The fact that a colleague, Darren England, recommended she had a look at it is interesting in and of itself. Whichever way it goes, you can imagine there'll be plenty of chat about it afterwards too. It's a penalty. It's a Wolfsburg penalty for handball. 
And it's a yellow card for Elisa de Almeida. Who you have to feel a touch for. And it's a red. It's a red for Elisa de Almeida. Paris Saint-Germain down to 10. Incredible scenes here. A second yellow card for Elisa de Almeida. And in mere moments, this tie has appeared to turn in Wolfsburg's favour. You have a spot kick. And the sweet satisfaction, the Champions League quarter-final away first leg win. It's exactly what the She-Wolves have. Frustrated moves for the majority here in Paris. It is Valfell Wolfsburg, the two-time winners of this competition, who will carry a lead back to Germany for the second leg next Thursday. That small pocket of travelling fans delighted. Dominique Janssen's penalty, the difference just after the hour mark. Lisa de Almeida given a second yellow card for the handball. The penalty hadn't initially been given, and when it was, the second yellow card came for the defender as well. Janssen was calm and confident from the spot. The Dutch woman slotting in her first Champions League goal this season.